Oh, they're they're road. They're going to be kind of. If, yeah, they, so, they're, so basically the basketball courts are there. They're going to be behind the pool. So between, if you know where the pickleball courts are, the pickleball courts and the pool, there's a big green area, green space. We're going to put the courts there. So and there'll still be a full length court. So because I know a lot of folks like, like it. I, I can move it, but if you remember the path I link it, it dumps you off on, on the back end of the court, so anyone who walks would just kind of have to walk right on the back end of that court to get at. Hey, what's the uh, proposed budget for this design? That is a great question. Yeah. Um, yeah. I will admit, we don't have an exact amount yet because since it has not been a approved by the residents, it's hard to get a feel for it. But one of the things that I know the committee has been wor wor working on is to keep it so, so, so that it costs the residents about a dollar or less per day. In dealing with some of the bankers, that seems like it's a very reasonable expectation given where the interest rates are now because money is cheap to borrow. So, wait, wait, raise your hand if you want to talk, uh, Lloyd. Yeah. What all does this uh, dollar a day include? Are you talking about adding all these tables and the fitness center and all that? Yes, it will be part of it. It kind of like work in the... Uh, the um, how, did you, how did you arrive at that? Based upon some of the numbers that we saw within there, I know like one of the proposals that the architect did include during the 2018 proposal did include equipment and all tables and chairs, and I think we can go and put it in in there. You're talking, you're talking on this one. So you're talking three million. It could be three to four. Uh, but again, we can keep it down to a dollar a day, which I think is the kind of like the key. Bud, you're working. three. I think before you start on this, we ought to know where we're at money-wise. And but also, I, 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 we, we, we have had trouble trying to do that because again, if, if the board decides to go ahead with this, then we can go start to get some estimates from, right. from, from builders. Then we can go start to talk to bankers to get more of the detailed amounts. Right now, we're just talking, we think it's going to be this. We think it's going to be, be that. We haven't been able to, calm, to calm, calm things out. That's why the FBC has been trying to do a dollar per day because we know that the residents here are cautious about what they're spending money on. Well, I, I think you're you're leaving things away here for a dollar a day. That's, that's a okay, Shadow, you were number two. Right. Go ahead. Yeah, taking a quick look at three minutes, three and a half percent. I don't know if you're going to go for 15 years, or 30, or 10, or whatever it is. At 15 years, I thought it was about three hundred dollars additional fees. So a dollar a day seems right. Reasonable. Exactly. And that's kind of yes. Just to continue, the timing couldn't be any worse because you got that increase and you got a Duffy's increase at the same time. You know, make a lot of people fail. But wait, well, I but think Duff might be five hundred. Wait, hang on a second, Sandro. Let's Sandro, hang on one sec. Eileen, would you answer that question? Uh, yes. In um, 2023, the $325 is coming off the tax bill that was for the bond. Um, if the purchase of the property, not just Duffy's, if the purchase of the property um, goes through, and we get a bond, we are going to get a bond for redoing the roads, which we will have to assess the residents, uh, redoing the common ground landscape. Currently on your tax bill, there's $325 for the bond. There's currently $100 for the landscaping. If this goes through and we can purchase this and obtain a bond, the cost would be approximately $425, $450 on your tax bill. But you need to remember, the 325 
and the 100 will be coming off. So the 425 will be coming off your tax bill because the money that we have, we will no longer be assessing for the landscaping because it will be part of bond. And the reserves that we currently have collected for the landscaping will go towards reducing the cost of the bond. So as far as your tax bill, it's, it's going to be pretty much what you're paying now. The only additional would be whatever we are assessed for the um, for the new community center. So your tax bill is not going to be that much of a difference. Um, and then that will take, because we will, if we do not go with the bond, we will have to continue to assess for the landscaping, and we will have to start assessing for the roads. So the CBD felt the best way to do it would be to put it all together and keep the tax bill pretty flat. Does that answer? And that's the landscaping. Yep. That's a landscaping, um, all the common ground landscaping. What we're going to be doing out behind Weymouth, down the center, along both the drives, that's all the common ground landscaping. So then just to piggyback on that, correct me if, if, if I'm wrong, but I heard Stan, your CDD bill this year, next year, it's going to be flat. Pretty much, because that's what they're trying to aim for, so so that the bond is going to keep things flat. So, by doing the CDD bond, that is flat. You got to do anything else? Then potentially for a dollar a day, we get to do the new community center. And part of the reason why the board did not want to be part of the bond is because we didn't want to. Oh, we did not want to have residents from the out outside to come and use the property here. So by so by the association taking out a loan and build, building it, then it stays as just a Stony Brook facility. I think one thing we need to keep in mind tonight, this meeting is not to decide anything but for the board to go ahead, take what they have right now, get the approval to put it on the agenda for March. In the meantime, they start gathering the facts on financing. They start gathering on the fence uh, the idea of if this is what we want to have. Come March, you will have everything that you will vote on. And there's a lot of work to be done between now and the meeting. Right. This is yeah. only to decide that let's present it to the community so, and do our research. So then, excuse me, would you like me to make the motion so that everyone can uh, kind of hear Wait a second, we've had people we have their hands up. I understand. Let, let's let them speak and then we'll come back to it. Okay. Bud? Yes, uh, for those of you who are not old enough to remember when interest rates, they are currently very good and very cheap. And money is in fact cheap. But in 1980 or so, <laughs> interest rates rose to 18%. Mm -hmm. And we're well on the way to doing that again. How quickly will that happen or will it happen? Nobody really knows, but it certainly looks like it. So don't count on a dollar a day at this point. It's going to take a year to get this done. No, excuse me. No, Bud. Well, wait a minute. Let me finish, please. The interest rates could well be triple or quadruple what they are today in a year. Then we'll know it at that time. Excuse me. So, Bud, to, to that point, Everything that I'm reading, the Fed could start to raise rates in the next six to 12 months. Given some of the banks, we can have an interest on a, on a only portion for 18 to, 20, to 24 months. So we could potentially lock in the rate low now, but yet just not built for six months. So there are ways around it. Okay. And I would rather try to lock in the fixed rates low now. Gentlemen, put the hand up. You were number four. You are on. Yep. Uh, it looks like interest rates are going a lot sooner than later. Most likely in uh, May. Uh, but aside from that, are there any other design options besides this one? Uh, Not, no. No, it's not all we have. That, it was, that's what the FPC kind of worked with. We've This is like the fourth or fifth version that we did look at to try to take in all of the needs just that folks wanted at the focus group. Well, if, I mean, this is going to be presented to the community, obviously. Yes. And people are going to, you know, decide which way they want to go. Uh, 
I mean, you may want to just take a look at these plans and see if anything needs to be scaled back. This is another option. Uh, That's what we're going to be doing over the next couple months prior to the meeting. Is, right. Uh, with the, gonna, he's going to break up sessions that you guys can, uh, Russ will be invited to, lay it out, see what you've got to say, and tweak it, and then the final version will be what you will be voted on at the annual meeting. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just going with your dollar a day uh, for how many years? It's going to be no more than 15 years. That's $90 a quarter. That's 365 a year. To our HOA dues. Correct. Uh, we are looking at more of a special assessment. But to it's go still it's added to our yes. 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 Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. You were number six. Uh, Peter, you'll be seven. Are you done, Eileen? Or you're more? Yeah, okay, Peter. Uh, the dollar a day cost, does that include anticipated operating expenses in the future as well? Insurance, yeah. maintenance? No, all we're talking about is building and equipping the, the, so the plan, and the day to day operations would fall into our annual budget. Well, we can expect okay, any more questions? <laughs> Sir? Yes, I'd like to clarify the uh, CDD uh, assessments. Currently, um, I pay $794 uh, each year. And so you're saying in 2022, that'll stay the same? Pay more than that. You pay more than that. $325 for the bond. 800 to go in and 75 for the irrigation fund. Okay, so well, my point was part of that 800 is 800 for the uh, reserves for the landscape. Sure. I, I guess my, my real question is that's going to stay the same for 22. 23 is going to be reduced. Is that? Did I hear you right? Oh, no. If we get the bond, it will pretty much stay flat. Okay. So okay, it's okay, it will go down, but then the bond will raise it back up. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, Tom. So of course, bond will be paid off. The landscape money will come off, but the new bond money will go can, off. Can I suggest that we we hold these discussions for our our breakout meetings when we when we actually have something for you guys to to right. uh, we need to take look a, at a motion on this. Yeah. Okay. So after Tom's done. Okay. So based on what I said is. I would make a motion to submit the current architectural design with any potential modifications to the residents for a vote during the March 16th, 2022 meeting. And that a vote for the design would mean that we would move ahead, and a vote a against would mean we would keep the status quo. Okay. I second that. Okay, we have a second. The board have any discussion? Yeah, I'd like to say one thing, <clears throat> because this fellow was saying, has any, has there been any discussions of scaling back? Well, I, I have not been part of the inner <clears throat> workings here, but what I do know, I think you correct me if I'm wrong. We just uh, the committee decided not to have a full service kitchen because of the cost of the fire suppression. If we had a full service kitchen, Bill could probably tell me what that cost might be. Probably seventy five thousand more dollars. A little higher more than that. that. More so than there that. has been some scaling back. It'd be nice to have a full service kitchen, but how many times? If we had a big event, a caterer would just have to come in. And then you, we might, in the future, buy warming boxes to keep things warm. So there has been some scaling back. Anybody else on the board? Uh, Mark? Uh, well, yeah, I'm going to ask this to Tom. Tom, so is there going to be further discussion with right. residents and, and the architect? So if we decide to move a, to move a ahead, my plan is that to set up some meetings with uh, the residents in January and February and also March at various dates and times to try to get as many folks to uh, come. 
Also, the architect, I believe, just like you did for the 2018, could come up with more of a slide presentation, even show some elevation to see what it's going to look like so they can do more. This design, again, was just more of like a 30,000 foot view to just get a footprint as to what we can have to go and move forward. Okay, so you figure that at least two more two more gatherings oh, of, of oh, people. More than that. Mark. I'm thinking of like anywhere from 10 to 15. Yeah. Uh, between now and, and March. March. Yeah. Because yeah, okay. this is a big decision that the residents Good. need to really vote on. Okay. Think, think about Okay. Anybody else on the board have any comments? Just I'll make one comment just for whatever it's worth. Uh, when we looked at this back in 2018, uh, we looked at alternatives uh, rather than having a satellite building. Uh, and, and all those alternatives were overruled because of additional cost and, and the fact that uh, anything we do to this building would, would force management and office staff out of this building. Uh, they, they wouldn't be able to function for probably six to eight months. So it wasn't a practical to, to, to go up or, or you know, do things to this particular building. That's why uh, the satellite building was originally conceived and, and the architect, which was the same architect we used back uh, in 2018, uh, concurred again that, that this is the only place to put it and the only kind of building to have and, and the most cost effective. Okay, anybody else on the board yeah. with comment? Yeah, we're, we're, we're doing the board comments now. Yeah, board. I have one. Okay, um, Jim. I would, I hope, and would like to see at these meetings some of the younger families uh, come and speak up because they're the ones that are going to be living with this for, for 15, 15 20 years. years from now. I'm not going to be living with it 20 years from now. <laughs> <laughs> you're announcing the date you're leaving us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, any other comments from the board? Seeing none, we do have a, a motion that the board for the board to approve the concept uh, that's been presented to the residents right now tonight and to move forward if it passes. So uh, all in favor of accepting the concept as presented, raise your right hand. Opposed? None. Uh, I would say this. Uh, Adam back there, I know he did a lot of work on it, and all the other guys on the committee and the past presidents were on it. Thank you guys for a great job. Uh, now it's up to you folks to uh, work with us and decide what we're going to do. Yeah, the final solution is going to be yours. You know, whether we go with it or not go with it, it'll be up to the residents. Yeah. This is All this is, we've accepted a, a concept that we want to do. Changes can be made at the breakout and see, see where we're at. Okay. Anybody help have anything else? For One meeting, order? please. Anything, One meeting. Anything else for the good of the order? I move that we adjourn. Yes. Before we adjourn, may all of you have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, however you do it. And thanks Monica. for coming. Yep. Amen. Yeah. Yeah.